If you've heard of our work here at Borrow Growth Media, you'll know that one of the first things we ask our clients to do is to stop paying for paid ads, at least for the first couple of months. We don't pay for any ads until we've got their offer and messaging right. And we tested and tweaked it to make sure that their offer and their messaging actually convert. This is Laura Egerchega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and today I'm going to teach you how you can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find high quality leads for your coaching or consulting business. One of the best ways to test it is through leads we found on LinkedIn. And let me tell you, LinkedIn is probably one of the best places to find high quality leads for coaches and consultants in the B2B space. The kind of clients you're looking for are executives, managers, the decision makers are very active on LinkedIn and are essentially there to handle business. We have several different strategies of our growth media that we use for our clients to find and connect with leads on LinkedIn. But one of the most convenient ones and something you can try for yourself is utilizing LinkedIn Sales Navigator. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is essentially a social seller tool. It's a tool that allows you to search and connect with potential leads that aren't in your immediate network. And it has in-depth filtering features so you can make sure that you're actually connecting with leads that fit your target audience. To start using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, the first thing you need to do is sign up. Just search LinkedIn Sales Navigator on Google or click the link below in the description section. Once the page pulls up, you'll find a button to start your free trial. Then it'll give you two options for the Sales Navigator Core or Sales Navigator Advanced, which is built for teams. Either option gives you a month long free trial. So that's more than enough time to test out the features, find some great leads and see how well it works for your business. If it's something that you don't want to keep using though just make sure you cancel before the free trial expires otherwise it'll charge you around eighty dollars for the core and around 160 for advance but from our experience it has been well worth it once you sign up, you'll have a button for Sales Navigator added to the menu on top of your profile page. So just click on that and right at the gate, it'll show you a ton of leads. It'll show you which ones you have shared connections with. If you're a small business or solopreneur, I would suggest starting with leads who you have a second degree connection with that has a shared connection. You know, it makes it more likely for them to be open to starting a conversation with you. Of course, you don't want to just randomly start messaging people. Sales Navigator features are really thorough and in-depth filtering system. Up top, there's actually a search bar and you can put in keywords to find people who would match up to what you're looking for. Like if you're looking for people in construction, just type in construction or whatever other related keywords to your niche. You can also filter by connections. Like I mentioned before, you can filter by the company information. You know, how big is their business based on employee headcount and their position in their company. So you can connect with people who are in decision making roles. You can even search for the most recent content they posted. Sales Navigator also lets you sync with Microsoft 365 and Salesforce so you can widen your lead search. If you're using any other CRM platforms, there are ways to still connect with your LinkedIn. Just make sure you're using a trusted third-party tool. Once you've narrowed down your search, you still want to do a sort of health check on your leads just to check out a couple of random leads that came up with your search to see how well the leads you came up with actually fit your target audience. Now that you've got your list of leads, you can message them via in-mail, which you can do manually or through automation for us. We usually start out with manual messaging because that first contact is incredibly crucial to how you start building relationship with your leads and usher them down the sales pipeline. So you want to test out what you're sending to figure out 
what works and what doesn't. And you also want to make sure your LinkedIn profile is optimized so that when they do go to your profile, you're presenting the image of a professional and trustworthy business. If you have more questions, just leave a comment below. If you want to learn more about how to leverage LinkedIn and how to scale and grow your small business, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when we drop new videos. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all the social medias at Laura Gachega, and I'll see you guys on our next video.